All right, hey guys. Hey, I'm just uh, decided I just want to get back into uh, making little videos here, vlogs or whatever you want to call them. Uh, well, this one's going to be very interesting. Something else that's uh, really near and dear to my heart is uh, nutrition type stuff, uh, pre-fueling, uh, pre-workout, post-workout, during workout stuff. Uh, but this will be my pre and my post. We're gonna do a test here on proteins. You know, I'm big on uh, plant-based proteins. You know, just, uh, just it's a little more healthier than casein and whey and soy. Because sometimes you can have uh, side effects to that, allergic reactions to that type of stuff. And uh, there's some that think we're not supposed to have that type of stuff. We weren't mo made to drink uh, cow's milk. Even though we've been doing it for many, many, many years and uh, it's worked out all right. Uh, as far as we know. So, uh, plant-based protein. I was just roaming around the Groveland Publix today, texting a friend, taking pictures, and I always go check down the uh, markdown table, and uh, uh, and there was some special stuff over there. I guess they did a reset. Not that these products are bad, I don't think, but... Uh, um, Kashi, Golin, dark cocoa powder, uh, plant protein, uh, Pretty good stuff on there. If we could, uh, yeah, not bad. If you want to look at it real quick, ooh, 35% iron. How do they pull that off? Let's see pea protein, flax seed, cocoa, chia seeds. Well, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, super important to get plenty of uh, iron and B12. Got to do that, especially uh, vegetarians, vegans, vegetarians. Uh, so that was the cocoa one, and then this one was over there too. I got this one because it was a little cheaper. That one's marked down to 15. I believe that is probably a markdown. Uh, and this one was cheap. This is uh, plant-based again. Uh, plant-based again. Uh, Kashi Go Lean. Kashi's a good company. Uh, well, they're running 20% iron and vitamin K, which you can get you in your uh, leafy greens. Uh, your spinach mostly is the most popular way probably. And it tastes good. Beet powder, garbanzo beans, turmeric. Okay, cool. All right, and then my uh, personal favorite, personal favorite, and you, you guys know, uh, is uh, the Vega. Was not on the markdown table uh, over at Public Scrolling, but is at Vitamin Shop for forty nine ninety nine. You can have this canister of Vega all in one. Uh, there is many different Vegas. Uh, make sure probably get the, the all in one is the uh, top of the line stuff because it does have all of this stuff in one is a little more expensive but definitely worth it you don't ever want to go cheap on your health uh, but yeah this one's cool vega all-in-one protein vitamin shop uh let's see so that's pretty good stuff okay so they're running all that stuff same old thing the uh pre-protein the flaxseed pea starch um whoa we got a little bit different here still throwing in all the vegetables over there um yeah you get the the pea protein the the bean protein the uh the quinoa protein uh so yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and blend it all up in the ninja blender and just to make it try to taste a little bit better uh usually i do use water we're gonna go almond breezing on it um so yeah i didn't even open yet but just did a 25 mile ride. Pretty, pretty, pretty good ride on Zwift. Uh, so I'm gonna get my uh, protein in me quick. Uh, uh, Post-workout, uh, it is recommended to have a good ratio of uh, protein and a carbohydrate uh, for recovery. Uh, you don't necessarily have to replenish your carbohydrate stores or glucose stores or muscle glycogen or whatever. And, uh, but if you know you're gonna use it again tomorrow, go for it. Um, you do not wanna go to bed hungry. Uh, that's one of my rules. Don't go to bed hungry, uh, especially if you're an athlete and you train like four, five, six times a week and you want to perform well and not get over training injuries or thyroid issues or metabolism issues. You've got to fuel yourself. All right. So we're going to go. Uh, uh, hold on. Perhaps they turn down the music real quick while you guys can share and you can listen to some elevated music.
So it's easy as this. Um, Vega all in one shake, uh, 60 calories. Oh, 160 for one scoop. So I'll do a. Uh, one. Oh boy. Two. Because we're going to be sampling the other ones, I'll just do two uh, fresh. I'll just do two right now. We'll go. Um, a little bit on Pandora Radio Comedy, Jim Gaffigan. He's like, yeah. I guess we'd all cook if we had everything in pre-measured, pre-measured bowls and and cups and stuff. And then, uh, and if they were already ready in the oven, it's very funny, very good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, we'll even go almond milk for this. Uh, usually, yeah. Usually going unsweetened, unsweetened almond milk, uh, vanilla flavor. I like that. But uh, let's go. We put everything in there. Yeah, there was two scoops, almond milk, to the top. That should be good. Very easy cleanup. All right, got some dangerous coffee in there. May not want that. Um, very easy. And we're gonna have chugging contest. Ready? That was good. Okay, and it's gone like that. That's all you want. You want to get those. You want to get those calories in there. You want to get that protein in there to, for them to go do their job, you know? Uh, the cells, the molecules to go over to the cells and get to work repairing all this stuff, all right? That's cool, that was Vega. Of course, Vega is uh, number one. Number one, so let's see. Next time for for you, Andrew Wilk, I'll do it in a ninja outfit. But that's an I should have thought about that. Alright, very easy clean up. Okay, ready to roll. Alright, we'll go uh Kashi Lean. We'll go dark cocoa powder. Let's see how easy this is to open. Oh no, this is gonna be the funnest. Has it got a little thing? Yeah, no thing. Been working out. Good luck with that. This cocoa player, but it also smells like that vegetable smell. All right, so uh, do the same. The scoops are a little smaller. All right, we'll do uh, two scoops. I made messy. Uh, we'll go almond milk to the rim. per serving. Seven grams of fat. Okay. Here. Smells good. Oh, could I? I'm nervous. All right. All right, here we go. Kinda of glad I bought that. All right, not bad. Not bad. Cool. So that was a 
going cocoa. Hey, we got more. Alright. Anything good happen today? Hope you train today. Go to church. Meet any cool people. Bug. Easy cleanup with the Ninja Blender. Mission accomplished there. Yeah. So maybe I'll go back over to the uh, Groveland Public Sand. Oh! Hands are wet. And buy those other two. Oh, you're gonna buy protein anyway. Who put these on there? Oh man, I was gonna pull out my drill. Pretty good right now. So. I will have two. It was a hundred and sixty calories, seven grams of fat, only one sugar, eight grams of carbohydrate. Pea protein, flaxseed, chia seed, spinach, hemp protein, hemp. Mm. So, we'll go vanilla almond milk. <sighs> Let's just have a big protein party. I, I'll host it. You guys just message me. I'll host a big protein party. Uh, here we go. No matter what it tastes like. So the winner, of course, Vega. Vega wins. Coco did really good though. Like that, but that uh, this one, this one's very interesting. But I think I've got my, I've got my greens, beets, and sprouted lagoons. This is it. it tastes exactly like what it says that it's got in there. All right, <laughs> what else in my belly? All that is in there. Now they can go to work and hopefully I can run again tomorrow and perform really good. All right, cool. So uh, what else? That's it. 
So Vega, Kashi Goween, Coco Kashi Goween Original. There's a uh, two vanillas over at the uh, Grove and Publix, fifteen dollars each. Probably tastes good because Vega I get Vega is a uh, French vanilla. Uh, let me know what you think, Andrew Ralph Buck Hill, right? And uh, next time I'll be in my ninja outfit. All right, peace out. See ya. Love you. Jesus loves you too. God loves you. Get your butt in church tomorrow. See ya.